Let's get real. You need a coffee mug? You can count on. You don't got time for mugs that just don't cut it. You need a mug that holds passion in a yellow sun. A mug that tells you with all the world that not only are you an artist who deserves accolades and adoration, but one that also says that you are an artist who cares about your coffee. So good. Get your Good Morning Artist coffee mug only at patreon.com slash goodmorningartist. You guys, you guys have hit the bell on the YouTube, right? And you guys are just, you guys are just ready. As soon as I get on, but you guys are, it's like you guys are waking up and getting ready to do your day, you know, and have a good, have a good art day, you know, like, because we're working on art. We're working on art every single day. We know we're so busy. Guys, we got stuff to do and you can't keep track of everything, but you know, because you have the bell 
uh, you had the bell hit on the YouTube, right? You got your notifications on Twitch, right? You know what's going on, and you guys are here every time I get on now. Like, I don't even have to send out messages anymore. And sometimes I still send messages. I know, I really appreciate everybody who lets me send messages and DM them all the time with the live stream link, so just so I can have some friends on here. But, like, that's the thing. Like, the Breakfast Club just keeps growing. And it gets bigger and bigger. And you guys are just, like, showing up at this point. And I love it. Come on in. Come on in and join me. Because today, what are we doing? We're painting! We're painting today! Okay, guys? Listen. I got my stick. I got my stick, okay? And I got this brush right here. I have many brushes, right? If I showed you all the brushes I had, you guys would be like... You need to stop buying brushes. Yes. That's what you guys would say. You'd be like, please stop buying the brush. Why do you have so many brushes, Dusty? And I tell you, listen, this is the thing about brushes too. Like, like the nice brushes, this is a nice brush here. This is, this is one of the, uh, the nicer, one, nicer ones that I buy. And when I'm painting nice, I use the nice ones, right? Okay. But a lot of times you're like painting, you're just practicing, really. You know it's not like a serious thing. So like, we buy a lot of cheap brushes. And the reason is because um, you can, they're so, they're so cheap. Like you could just buy like endless amounts, like and never run out really, like at Michael's and stuff. Like, the, like, and like the higher end ones are it's way superior, way better. Way better, right? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't got forty dollars to spend on some landscape I'm doing like for one hour every single day, you know, like on a nice brush. So we have, we just have, we have so many disposable ones. But you know what? The nice ones, they stick around longer. They do. Um, you can clean them better. The bristles last longer. And if you guys want to get real crazy, you can get go get horse hair brushes and make fine art with it. Sure. Um, and they do. They. They, they are better, they're superior, but it kind of doesn't matter. A lot of times you're not, you're, it's like, are you painting uh, high-end fine art? Um, like not every time, like I'm not, I do sometimes. Sometimes, you guys, you guys see my work, sometimes, you know, it's that next level and you're like, Dusty, I, I didn't even know you could paint like that. And it's like, guys, <laughs> it's just cause I don't paint like that all the time, one. I, I, it's not the 16th century, right? I don't have to paint like a whole, you know, Jesus pose and everything, and Mary's in there, you know, and, and like I have to have red on Mary, and I have to have blue on Jesus, and I have to do all these rules, and the Catholic Church is gonna check it out before I can even show it to the public. It's not like that these days. You know, so you can like paint all kinds of different things, and people are like, sometimes they're like, Dusty, I can't believe you were able to paint that. And it's like, guys, I can. I'm just like, I spent all my time making you know, like, and this is the nature of the art, guys. Blame the art world. I don't know if it's the art world, but blame the world in general, society. Like, I could paint the Mona Lisa, and it would give me, like, 10 likes on Instagram. It would. It would. Don't lie to me. I'm being serious, too. Like my best pieces give me like 20 likes and then my worst pieces give me like 15 likes so like am I supposed to spend like and I know I know what you guys are supposed to say you're gonna say Dusty you gotta stay true to the art and do what you want and I do that's what I do I want, I want likes so I do what I want right <laughs> oh man guys you got it you gotta get with, with with me come on now uh, no, I, I do appreciate it, but guys, uh, I only have 2 million viewers right now, so if you could, if you could share the page somehow, send it out there. I'm banned on Facebook right now, yeah, for, uh, pretty much, for saying that Christians are dumb, I'm banned for 30 days. Yeah, 30 days for that one, guys. Uh, I got pretty much I can never talk on Facebook ever again. I guess, I guess that's where I'm at. I can never talk on Facebook ever again. So the only thing you're ever going to see on Facebook now is Good Morning Artist post. That's it. I can't. I'm not going to do pol. I I, I want to do politics. Yes, yes, Little Film. Thank you for coming in again. I like it. Yeah, I, again. Well, listen. I thought it was pretty harmless. Now tell me, tell me if it's worth 30 days. Ha ha ha. 
Christians are dumb, lol. Is that worth 30 days? And I, I appreciate you coming in, that's awesome. Sorry, bro, so that's where you've been. Yeah, if I'm not liking your post, and uh, Jay, I know I know, I come over and I, I like your Star Wars posts and everything. I, 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 thought, I do, I do pay attention. I love your dioramas. Honestly, Jay, honestly, you should come on and do some dioramas over here on this show. That would be actually totally incredible. Like, totally incredible. But yeah, ban 30 days. So if you guys can share the page and do what you can on Facebook specifically right now because they don't even let me, they don't let me share my professional page uh, when I'm banned. When you're banned, your business page is also banned. I, I, I find it horrible. I find it, I found a couple ways to work around it. Like I can take my Instagram and I can post still to the Facebook. So I got a little loophole there. Um, I got a little loophole there, so I can at least advertise a little bit, but like it really kills me too because uh, like 75% of our views come in through the Facebook too, so I can't even live stream on Facebook, right? It's a huge issue, guys. So pretty much I like cannot talk anymore on Facebook. That's like where I'm at. I literally just, I can't talk. I know, and I know, I know. Some people out there are like, yes, get them off. Get him off! They, you know what they say? They say, they say he's a communist. I've looked up his post. He's a communist. He's saying people should be fed. He's saying people should be housed. He's saying people should be on universal health care. He thinks, he thinks everyone should be taken care of. What a communist. That's what they say. And then Facebook is like, let's ban him. He doesn't like Christians either. <laughs> and guys, I don't listen. I don't want to be. I don't. I don't really want to beat up on Christians because I have my a lot of my family are, are Christians. Okay, but like if I can't say, if I can't say, Christians are dumb. LOL. Like joke. <laughs> like Christians are dumb. <laughs> I'm not like let's hurt Christians because they're they're bad for society. I'm not saying anything like that. That would be crazy, right? I'm saying. <laughs> You Christians are dead. <laughs> I should be able to say that. And if we can't say that, I don't know. I don't know if we can progress in society. Like society is supposed to go like this, guys. <laughs> and then we are right here. We're here. And then you can't say, you can't call anybody dumb. Dude, it's hard to deal with. It really is hard to deal with, guys. But so thank you, thank you, Jay, Jay, thank you. I can see we're up to four million viewers now, guys. So please, it's working. Whatever you guys are doing out there, it's working. Okay, the sharing. Thank you for sharing it on Facebook specifically. Yeah. And then of course, uh, share the YouTube is like kind of like my my building home. I'm building on YouTube. I feel the safest on YouTube because uh, I can say some of the things I want to say on YouTube. So um, I feel safest. And guys, I, guys, I'm not some. Yeah, we're, we're not doing some of the things that people do on YouTube, okay? I'm not spreading disinformation about COVID. I'm not ranting about Democrats the whole time. <laughs> like, I'm, I have an art show here, okay? And this is what I'm trying to build. So please, thank you. Thank you for all the support, and I appreciate it, guys. It really matters. And uh, if you can, go to that next level. Go to the Patreon. Give me that dollar. Um, and you get nonstop, nonstop content. At 12, trust me, some of my Patreon, they're like, I'm overwhelmed by what you're sending in. And uh, I say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just really busy online and I'm posting all the time. So thank you, I appreciate everybody, man. It's been awesome. Uh, but today, you know, I, I, the claim is, right? What is the claim right now? He's a painting god. Now can I back that up at all? Can I guys? Can I back that up? Do I have anything to go for that? Am I gonna stand here and just fail? <laughs> no! We got this right here. In the works. Do I need a little help here? Yeah, I do I need a little help. Look at this. In the styles of all the greatest impressions the entire world has ever seen, me, I'm accomplishing this. Bah! Live! I, I hope I have compression on my mic today because I, I'm, I'm bawling out today. Let's check. <laughs> we're, we're good. We, we, got, we got our compression on it, I think. I hope it's working out there, guys. And, guys, anything you type go, does go into the super chat. Uh, I love when 
things come in on the super chat. I love it. I, I like it when it's full, and I mean, we haven't reached that level yet, but we're gonna. We're gonna. It's gonna be party mode the whole time. I got ton of, tons of gifts coming up for all my Breakfast Club members uh, who are subscribed to the Patreon. We have stickers coming in. We have Good Morning Artist stickers. You guys know the logo. It's on fucking everything right now. And we're going to be sending those out too. And people are going to be able to buy those separately too. We got tons of things coming up. And the show, I have tons of things going on the show. I have so much production to do. Uh, but one, uh, I have one, uh, before I get into painting. And we start painting this masterpiece over here. Which is a commission, by the way. I get paid, I get paid, I get, I get paid millions of dollars, guys. Millions and millions of dollars. From some of the finest art collectors in the entire world has ever seen. And this is how we run the show. Mostly through painting sales. You know, I, I, I get a call from New York. You know, one of my distributors, one of my main guys. And I say, Dusty, what do you got? <laughs> and I say, nothing. I say, I don't have anything. I don't have anything right now. I don't have anything for those... Bourgeois class, mother effers, okay. So what do they do? They go dusty. What if we gave a million dollars to you for that? And I said, let's do it. <laughs> because we're trying to build an empire here and one of the greatest shows, one of the greatest art shows has ever been. We know Bob Ross set the level. He's up here, Bob Ross. Guys, we have 5 million viewers. Give yourself a round of applause. Guys, whatever you guys are doing out there, it's working. I love it. The Breakfast Club just continues to grow. It's amazing. And we're going to be painting, and we're going to prove it. I'm a, a painting god. Soon. 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 Now, I don't, I don't even believe that there might even be a god, so maybe, maybe I'm being a little hypocritical or ironic or something today, but... You know, we're going to give our best shot here. We're just going to have a good time, though. Honestly, guys, let's face it. Honestly, I'm joking, okay? I don't really think I'm a god. All right? Yeah, newsflash, guys. He's just a normal human. That can dinosaur roar. That's amazing. Well, um, yeah, so I'm going to start painting. But, listen, I got a show next week, though. This is what I want to get to. One, my, one last thing before I kind of get over to my, my painting, and I really appreciate you guys being here. This is really awesome, and I'll talk about anything, too. If you guys want to talk about sports, too, I'll do that, too. I'll, I'll talk about art, of course, and, and I will do politics. Did you hear about the artist who got a couple, got a couple 10 Gs and painted blank canvases? He called it Take the Money and Run. Yes. Yes, I, I have heard that show, heard that, or heard that story. Um, that is a true story. Uh, I've heard lots of stories of artists who really have to go the next level on gimmick, gimmickry, right? Um, go next level jokes to even get noticed. Uh, let's see, let's see the banana that was taped on the wall and everybody thought it was a piece of art and people were bidding on it and then this guy came over and he just ate it. There's that story. There's a guy who just walked in with a briefcase of a million dollars. And then everybody saw, thought his, his paintings were way better out of nowhere. Uh, there's all kinds of things. Banksy, you know, is the most popular artist probably in the world right now. Everybody knows who Banksy is. When people are like, do I know, do you know any current artist? They say Banksy. That's like the only thing. And the things that he does, you know, they're, they're gimmicks. They're gimmicks. But they work. So it's a tough world out there, guys. It is really tough. It was really tough to get to get noticed, but I have I want I was all right here I'm gonna get to it here we go here we go I have a show next week I have a show next Wednesday night same slot guys same slot seven and nine next week and I want you to check it out it's a huge show uh, with very close friends of mine um, so mark your calendars if you can guys like how many tattoos do you have and did it hurt with special guests tattoo artists Sam Hain and Nick Print live Wednesday October thirteenth. 729. That's going to be an incredible show. And those are some of my close friends for a long time. Um, I met Nick. I, I, I met Nick Print at the pizza shop working. And I still work at the same pizza shop, guys, on the weekends when, you know, I want, I want to get down to the regular level of people. I always want to know what it's like to work, right? 
I know I sell paintings for millions of dollars, but I still make pizza on the weekends because I want to know what it's like to work with, you know, my hands still. Anyways. <laughs> So I knew Nick Pratt, before she was a tattoo artist, a tattoo queen, I want to say, she, I mean, she has a, a, a half a quarter million followers on Instagram, um, and, and, and I, I'm just here doing my little Good Morning Artist show with 400 subscribers, guys, give myself a round of applause, I really appreciate it. And some of you guys watching now, some, some of you guys watching right now, you guys were, I almost, I... This is what this one's great. It's like my first 100 subscribers are the real deal. They're like always here. The Breakfast Club is just like that too, and, and, and that's the thing too. Like the first 100, they just they're just here. They're just here with me every single day. Like right now I'm at five million viewers, and I didn't even advertise this one, guys. I didn't even advertise. So we're working it, and I cannot wait to get over to that painting. I I honestly cannot wait. But I'm gonna do a real quick break. Uh, like I said, we talked about this show right here next week. Like, how many tattoos do you have and did it hurt? And, guys, uh, I went down and I got myself a tattoo from Sam Hain uh, just the other week. And here's the little story about it. Check it out. I really appreciate you guys being here. Okay, bye, honey. I'm going to go get a tattoo. A tattoo? Today, I am getting a tattoo at End Times Tattoo. I'm feeling very cool and confident right now. Kind of like a combination of James Dean and Steve McQueen. That's rule. End Times is located at the historic Village Gate Square. Every hipster that has ever graced the streets of Rochester, New York has been here. I'm here to see tattoo artist Sam Hain. And since I know this place so well, it should be easy for me to find. It should be uh, probably right down this hallway. All the cool shops are down over here. There's some, uh, you know, there's a couple shops. That's not a tattoo shop. Nope. There's really just so much down here. There's restaurants, there's hair salons, there's private businesses. There's this really cool thing upstairs. Let's go check that out. A lot of stairs here. Wow, I really filmed that whole thing out. Okay. All right, yeah, lots of cool art upstairs here. It's got beautiful sun coming in, all kinds of architecture. The place is really famous for it. Ha! I found it. I actually passed it on the way in. I just kind of, kind of not that smart. Oh, well, hi, Sam. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. What are you doing, drawing? Working on some flash sheet stuff for Halloween. Nice. Uh, you ready to give me a tattoo? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's do it. it. The shop is really beautiful, and it's just littered with like tons of apocalyptic paraphernalia, art, skulls, gas masks, and it just looks like a really fun place to be at. Now Sam had some beautiful Halloween art that she was mocking up, but I had some better ideas. Okay, so like, I'm thinking like, like a full sleeve of like Fred Durst, like right here. <laughs> Like, what do you think? Is that a good idea of something to get I, on my body? If you really love it, but like, in my opinion, no. No, no Fred Durst. I, well, Just his face, also, mostly. I, I can't do it for you. To you or in general, I just, I don't, I don't know. Okay, Sam, well, I mean. I. You got any other better ideas? I do, I do, I have great ideas. Okay. So we have this gumball machine. All right, show me this gumball 50, machine. 50, get what you get. So you put in the token. So 50-50, get what you get. And this is just a gumball machine that you guys have. Yeah. It's got a Furby in it. He's watching everything for us. He's like he's off, but nobody really knows. All right, so I just, I buy one of these tokens and then I just, get, I, I, I just, I take a yeah. risk. So there's little stencils in here. And is there any that. Fred Durst statues in there? Definitely. All right, all right, well. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll take it. Guys, should I take a gamble? Should I take a gamble? There's some risk involved here, but you know what? I think I'm pretty brave. Let's do it. Why are you laughing so hard? 
No, and what what what's in here? I don't know what's in here. I'm nervous. Do I, I only hear some of them. Do you some have a token for me? I do. Give me that token. This is like a Chuck E. Cheese it token is. here. It, it literally is a Chuck E. Cheese. I, I can't. It is, bitch. It is. You wear you a kid can be a kid. Now, uh, copyright. No, no. Okay. This is really the first time, honestly. <laughs> okay, here we go. Furby luck. Oh, lucky yellow. Here we go. I let Sam get her stuff ready, and I take a little more perusing around the shop. Let's see, we got a lot of Furbies around here. Ah, baby! Oh, that's kind of scary. What else we got? All kind of knickknacks, fun stuff. Whoa, goat head! What in the world? You know, I can't tell if this is fun or if I'm getting a little freaked out around here. Is that a real needle? No, it's plastic. Yeah, it's real. Oh my god. There. Anyway, hold on. Okay. Let's go. Ah! Oh, I swear to god I was fine the whole time and it didn't hurt at all. I'm very I'm very, very brave. I I, I promise. I swear, I, 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 I was fine the whole time. Very, very, very brave. And then Ricky showed up. Hey, Ricky, what up? What do you think of the tat? That doesn't sound like a grunge. Oh, that's <laughs> the wrong tattoo? What is she doing? It's a good looking penis, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for red. Go ahead. Red now? Okay. Is that. So you got the red in there now? I'm gonna wipe it down. Okay. Sure. Okay, be careful because it's a little sore now. It's like, it's like really. Like, ah! Ah! Okay, okay. Okay, I'm fine. Oh my God, is that blood? Oh! Okay, we're gonna do some yellow now. Okay, now. Yellow hurt. Okay, be careful, brother. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, ready? We're done. We're, we're done. We're done. Oh my God! Oh, phew. phew. It didn't hurt at all. Actually, honestly, it didn't, it didn't hurt at all. I'm so happy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm strong. Well, I'm strong. I'm strong. Okay, let's take a look at it, guys. Here we go. Look at it over here. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, bye Sam, thank you so much. That, You're it, so it's so good, it didn't hurt at all. Thank you. Bye Ricky, get a job. Thank you so much and please subscribe to the channel if you like any of this content.
right, fam, let's get painting here. Let's just get going and getting some painting done. Uh, one thing I want to talk about really before I start is that uh, I'm trying a couple new products, so I figured I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about what I'm using just for the heck of it. Uh, usually I use this gambling, oh, you know, I'm on the wrong camera right now. Usually I've been using this really classic gambling linseed oil for my vehicle, um, for making my, my paint uh, thinner or fatter, however you want to term it. The official term is fatter, but uh, it feels thinner. I, I, I have no idea how to describe it all that. But I'm kind of going away from this gambling because I got this new stuff. And um, and I think everybody's used gambling. That's it's everyone's used that. But I got this new Chelsea Classic Gold Studios, and it's this um, man. It's hard to see. I know. I'm sorry. I'm not really a professional streamer or anything. Look at me go. And they look like this. Okay, there, there's the best, the fat medium it's called. And they have all, they have like everything. They have brush cleaner, which I actually showed you guys the other day. Uh, made by artists for artists, just like this show. Crazy. Uh, we care deeply about the quality of materials, yes. And this is all, um, this is li made from lilacs. Or lavender. This one's lavender, okay? And it smells real, no turpentine, no petroleum, no carcinogenic fumes. It's actually, it smells like perfume. You could like literally put it on. I'm not even joking. You could put it on. You, you would smell great. Um, this stuff is awesome. I love it. Ch get into it. Chelsea Classic Studios. And uh, you know, I, I, I don't even know what the price was on this one. Uh, I, I had my I had my ticket there the other, here, but you know, it's a, it might be a little more pricier. It's, it's like, I don't know, like when you feel, when you feel, just like I was talking about the brushes, when you feel quality, you feel better, you just know it's true. You just really know it's true. So anyways, uh, let's get to work here though. And guys, you know the rules. I want you guys working when I work. When I start working, that means you guys start working. You guys got your sketchbooks out. You guys got your thing going and we're just gonna work together because the Good Morning Artist Studio is basically worldwide, all right? This this studio is worldwide, all right? You know that, I know that. This stuff smells so good. And it's it's just the, the texture, it's like, I don't know. It's like gold. <laughs> it's like gold. But let's start painting and you guys tell all your friends what's up, you know, a modern day Bob Ross painting god is here. I, you know, I'm not really a god or anything though. I'm really quite, quite average. But sometimes when you get in the mood and you start, you start painting and um, you're in the, you're, you're in the zone. Guys, I think you've all felt that you feel like a god. It starts to feel like you're like really doing something special. So uh, yeah, just enjoy it guys. I'm gonna turn on the shuffle. Uh, the rule here is we have um, all local music uh, from Western New York from me and my friends have made tons of music that isn't copyrighted, that's just secret. They have hiding in their basement and I share it on my show. All right, so anything that you hear on is literally personally my friends, personally have made this music. I, I've, I've been a musician for 25 years in Rochester and I've met all these people along the way and we just like to share music and have it on and and I bring people's music back to life a little bit on this show so I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put my track list on shuffle and we're just gonna paint and you guys enjoy it you guys work over there I work over here good morning to all of you I'm Justin Payette let's get to work
little delicate up top here. I know you guys can't see that well, but I, I'm making the sky gray here. And I'm being a little delicate because why? The red is always so volatile. And I have, I'm doing a, a wet on wet process here, you know, quickly. But I, I did let this dry from yesterday a little bit. So it, but it's oils and it takes a few days. So I'm still having, I can still have a little red bleed in. So I'm doing a little delicate work here. I'm just pulling that paint down to the edge and making sure I'm not having my red trail everywhere. And guys, thank you for being here so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm just hanging out and painting. I hope you guys are enjoying it. But yeah, if you guys see me working a little slow here, it's a little delicate work on the sky. And I just want to make sure it's just What I do simply love about this sky reference that I have is it's, it's a gray sky and if anybody's ever been from Rochester, New York, you guys know, right, it's, it's been gray for like four days straight here. It's always like this. So I, I honestly, I love, I love painting this gray. It's, it was difficult to get because it's so, it's actually so close to white. It's like right there.
Let me give you a little closer look, guys. Check this out. Let's help you guys see a little here. You guys can see that gray a little bit better up close like this. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. And what I do is I studied one of my favorite artists, Maxfield Parrish. And I'm doing these, this sky in a Maxfield Parrish way. And what I'm doing is really... Really true paint early on. Okay? And then as I go on to the layers, I fatten up the layers and it really becomes very glassy. I hope you guys will like the results.
probably not white here. I'm gonna have to go to this gambling white over here. Not excited about it. Let's see how much of this Willensburg I can get out though, actually. See how much more I can get out. Come on. Come on, baby. Uh, uh, me do. Me make painting. We can hold the paint. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, look at this. Alright. Oh yeah.
Break. Guys, stick around. You know my breaks are super short. Got a mute. Conrad Kubrick. Can, when I start talking, can we get the music down a little bit? Yeah. You're supposed to help me with the show. Come on, Conrad. 
Conrad Kubrick, man, listen, he spends all his time telling me he used to do film. Kind of a joke. And then, like, he doesn't help with the show at all. Guys, I, I need some help out here. Please. Please. Just send me some help. Anyways, we'll be right back. We're going to take a break. Uh, get, guys, keep those sketchbooks out. And keep working. And uh, I'll be right back. What should we do here? What should we do? Let's get blasted. Let's do it. Okay, now, so Zach is going to... Uh, uh, Like tranquil, soothing. Soothing so that I can like concentrate on you. Okay. And like just something really soft so I don't mess up, you know, trying to capture you. Well, I wouldn't want you to ruin perfectly good canvas. So, well, yeah, I mean, this is, is a perfectly good canvas. So, so here we go. All right. Wednesday, October 13th, 7 to 9 p.m. for, like, how many tattoos do you have? Did it hurt? With special guest tattoo artist Sam Hain and Nick Print. What a wonderful episode we are going to have next week. Same time slot, guys. So just want to reiterate, hey, if you're watching right now, this is your time slot, and I expect you to be there. Honestly, guys. <laughs> hey, we're just, we're, just, we're just painting away here. Uh, we're about an hour into our show, a little, a little more than that. I'm going to be here till about 9 o'clock tonight. So, so you know, you guys, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and just enjoying the painting a little bit. Uh, you can see our gray tones are coming in here a little bit. And uh, I went with a cold tone black, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that's going to make any sense to you out there. I know black and white, and those are kind of neutral colors for sure. But, I mean, it's just the hints on the cold side. So, and I think that was, I think that's working too. Um, we have to imagine a little bit too because I have a printed picture here so I, what I'm working for a reference but I, I've been out aside before right guys so you have to use your imagination a little bit when you're developing these colors and what I'm laying down on the sky and the water is actually really really important these are the most important layers actually the whole thing and I know I'm just blanking in it just huge huge shapes of white and gray here but uh, it's a process. It's a special process that's that's unique to me, guys. Uh, there are other classical artists out there who have done this over the time, of course. Of course. And there's still people doing it today. Yeah, but I, I just want to say that I just, in this area, 
maybe Western New York, maybe all of New York. There isn't a guy who's working kind of like in this method that I'm working in. So, I mean, guys, I just like when you guys are here, just appreciate you guys being here, just enjoying the show and just watching me work away and doing my thing. And of course, I hope you guys are working on your art too. Don't be afraid to send in your art over to my show and I'll put it on. I, I, I show people's art all the time to make sure you guys are doing that. If you're in bands and music and uh, you don't have, you have copyright free, mu free music, you can just share with me, I, you send it over, I'll put it on the show. I appreciate you guys. Uh, let's get back to work though. Let's get back to painting and keep enjoying ourselves. Share the page and uh, make sure you guys are going over all the, the buttons right there. There's a lot of buttons to press, I know. I know, it gets a little stressful. Uh, I would like to be like limited on how many things I have to do, but I have to do more and more every single day, it seems like. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous, honestly guys. All right, guys, we're going to get back to painting, so let's get to work.
my very nice.
great. Jamming all these great tunes uh, that we have from so many of our friends. And, and me, of course, because I'm amazing. Uh, this painting, I'm loving it. It's starting to really take shape, too. I know it's a little slow process early on here, but we have some more exciting events for this painting, too, when we get into some of our more opaque colors. And uh, actually, some of our transparent colors, too. We do have to go transparent. Like, our next process, once we get this first layer in, what we do is we go to a transparent uh, kind of tone, kind of dark tone, really. Your darks and your shadows. And I'm kind of going to map those out. And then, then we go on with our opaques, like our, our bright reds, our bright yellows, stuff like that. And go ahead and get on that all on top. You know, so you really create that depth. That's what we're looking to do. And I love the process. It just feels so good. It's so relaxing. And just having some friends here enjoying that time with me is just amazing. And it really just pumps me up. I just feel so powerful. Like a chainsaw, like an explosion, like a wolf, like, you know, everything. Whatever that was. That was supposed to be a lion, but it doesn't, it doesn't sound like a, a lion <laughs> at all. Uh, what are we going to do next, guys? It's 8 o'clock. I'm going to be here for another hour just painting away, uh, just just hanging out and painting and, and relaxing and having a good time on a Wednesday night. Get involved with the Super Chat if you guys can. I still like to hear some of your voices out there. And uh, Let's take another break, though. What are we going to check out right now? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what I want to do here. What am I going to send you guys over to do? Let's check out the rap battle. Remember why I rap? Thank you for everybody who bought a pre-sale ticket. We got merch in the back. We got merch in the back. A couple toxin shirts. Uh, mostly just smalls and uh, triple X. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Yo, you going first, D? Yeah, that's right. Oh shit. I got you. Oh god. You don't even know what I'm bringing. Fuck. What up everybody out there? Mm. Mm. Here it goes. I'm just gonna try. Here we go. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Rocking my eye and putting paint everywhere. One, two, three, and to the four. Number one artist in Toxin at your door. I wanna rock this place to the ground. Good morning, artists. We came to get down. What you hear is not a test. Pay it up. It's a motherfucking mess. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, what the fuck just happened? What? Huh? Well, I don't even huh? know. I don't even know. Huh? What you got? Oh, shit, yo. It's toxic, dusty. We ain't never been rusty. Trust me, wherever I go, you know the buzz beat. I ain't husky, but kinda lucky. The bitches know I be going harder than rough. Oh. A motherfucker with a knife in my pouch. Now you steady talking shit with your foot in your mouth. Oh. Ain't life a bitch when I'm taking you out. I'm a savage motherfucker spitting harder than gout. Oh. Oh shit. Tox. Oh fuck. You did not just destroy it like that, oh, did you? Oh god damn, son. Oh, hold on, well, I, got, I got something you left. Got some I got something for left. me, bro? Lottie Dottie, we like to create. All you haters, make no mistake. 6 a.m. police at my door. Been spreading a cap all over the world. 6 a.m., that's when I go to bed. Liquor and drugs, yeah, swinging in my head. Don't live this life that I lead to impress. Uh -huh. Ain't about flexing, it's about being the best. Watching this show, ideas are finally mine. What about you artists? You're looking so fine. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. I, 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 I got you. Oh, shit. Audio, visual, no matter what you do Your talent as an artist is inside of you We don't need no luck, we're never giving up Get your sketch without out, give me some love The cypher was sick before it even started Get ready motherfucker, it's good, good morning artist! What the fuck is what? up? Oh, Shit! You didn't know that was gonna happen! Dude, damn son 
time thank you for being here everybody uh that was an amazing time me and tox just ripping it up uh yeah i mean i have skills in so many different areas you know i, I play guitar i draw i sing i do i do i do it all i can even rap guys did you see that that was amazing all those lyrics too i, I totally wrote on my own i didn't steal from anybody or anything uh no 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 i did not i'm sorry uh, you guys, you know, I'll talk about anything you guys want to talk about football. Of course, I'll talk about the Buffalo Bills whenever you're ready. Whenever you guys are ready, I know it, it's if you if you're Buffalo Bills hater, it might be hard for you guys to talk about these days. But we're the best. What can I say? Yeah, I'm gonna say we, me, me too. I'm with it. I've been a Buffalo Bills fan all my life. I suffered four Super Bowls when I was just a young teenager kid, and. Uh, they still hang with me pretty hard. I, they still, they're still hanging with me. But uh, we got another hour of here painting, and I'm just having a good time painting this one. It's really the the layout of colors is just gorgeous, gorgeous, and I'm just having such a wonderful time with it. With it, really. I still have so much to do though. I can feel like I just have so much to do on this one. It's gonna take me a little while, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about it at all, about that at all. So what do you guys say? Let's uh, let's get back to it. Get back to work a little bit. I think so. I think it's time. I think it's time. Let's get back to work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get back to work. Thank you. 
That was nice. That's nice. direction we're going in as you can see guys it was all going in a direction I love when I put this ridge line in it felt like it really got a lot more depth as soon as I did that that was really fun. that's really fun to see you know you walk away you step away and you're like there's something I'm starting to find it a little bit uh, I got tons of work down here um, to do but I might I don't know I got some more white to pull over here pull that over here a little bit and then, um, but I really gotta make sure that all this right here, this, all this and this sky is really done before I kind of do the rest of the work. That's what I really need out of it. And uh, for my stuff, guys, it's a process. It's a process, it's a huge deal what I'm doing right now. I mean, hey, it looks pretty good. I could say it's done right now, right, guys? I could. What's anybody tell me? That's the way things are these days. But that's the type of effort that other people put in their paintings. Not me. Not me. We're going to put a little extra effort into it, guys. That's what we're going to do. Uh, it's been awesome. I mean, 
Here we are, two and a half hours in, still painting. I love it. You guys have been here hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Keep sharing the page, keep hanging out, keep uh, commenting, guys. It's really awesome. We're gonna do one more break, and then we're gonna come back. Um, it won't be long, because I, I really don't have to do much on this break. Uh, so stick around, guys. We'll be right back. Uh, enjoy this one real quick. time. I don't think I can paint anymore at all, guys. I think I'm done. Well, for today. I think we did a pretty good job on that. that that's looking wonderful. Here, you want to check it out a little bit more. Just move along, though. And uh, we're going to have to do... We're going to have to do the... Uh, the water. Really good. That's kind of the next phase. I'm going to have to do a new palette, really. For, not, I mean, same colors, but a new palette where I, I kind of, like, really think about how I'm going to get that water in there and just do it really good. And then um, continuing to work on the sky to make sure that's right and deep and rich. That's how we're going to go for it. You know, we want it to be super smooth. You know, when you look at the sky, you don't see any texture. It's just smooth. So, like, I leave the texture for the rest, right? And the sky is super smooth and beautiful. That's how we want it. That's how we like it, guys. That's what we want to do. Now, guys, uh, I don't know. I hope you guys are working on your sketchbooks. The rules for the sketchbooks are you leave them out. Uh, do five to ten minute sketches about two, three times a day. And then if you're feeling good about it, make sure you guys do an hour of sketchbook when you can. Uh, when it feels good. Other than that, yeah, just do blasts. Do five to ten minute blasts, and if it doesn't work out, just run away from it. It's no big deal. But it keeps, it's keeping your mind on your art, and it's keeping your hand ready to draw, or, you know, it, it keep you practiced. That's what you want to do with your sketchbook. Don't have to do masterpiece work in your sketchbook. Please don't. I know, I've seen a lot of... I see, and it's all you see on, you know, Instagram and whatnot. It's just these... 
people just put on these like masterpieces in their sketchbook and it's like very cool very cool but you want to you want to give your Yourself some a little space to grow a little bit and uh, just do some crappy work and do some uh, ideas, you know, just throw them out there, put them down on the paper and everything. Get them out there and let your sketchbook be that. Let your sketchbook be this little, uh, not a place you visit, make sure it, your sketchbook is your home. You, you are always coming back to it and doing really good work. And that's how you stay warm, guys. That's how you stay active. Um, and you keep yourself fresh. I mean, you, I got, I actually have to go buy a new sketchbook. I'm on my last few pages of this one. And uh, I have to save the last few pages because I have to do Leo the Torpedo, Baby QB. I have to write page 11 and probably 12 at the same time because it's, it's getting to half the book, all right? So I have to do 11 to 12 at the same, I gotta write them together. Page, I, I, I know, most artists just write the whole story once. That's not, how, that's not how I'm working. Don't worry about it. No big deal, guys. Uh, it's just how I want to work. Yeah, thank you. I know, I know. As always, I want to highlight that we do have tons of music from Toxin, the Epidemic. Uh, he kind of produces a lot of music for us in this show. So I want to make sure you guys... If you're at the YouTube, you can go scroll down and you can find Tox's page. Give him a subscribe. That really helps him out. He loves it. Gets all excited. And that's where you're listening to right now. Some beats from Toxin. Uh, he's one of the best beat makers that are out there. And we have him for our show because that's that's what Good Morning Artist is. We're like top. We're, or we only go up, guys. I have friends everywhere. Top notch level dudes. Just just working with us, making things happen. That's what it is. Uh, and thank you. Everybody subscribe, please. Uh, share the page. We're at 401 subscribers, and we're only going up, guys. It's a huge accomplishment. Reaching 400 by the end of the year. And we're heading up our one-year anniversary. Guys, when is the one-year anniversary? Let's go look. We're going to go look. Come on. Come over with me. Let's take a look. We're going to go over the YouTube page here. And we're going to take a look. And look, I love this. I love this. I'm right up here. And one person watching. Thanks, guys. I, I do appreciate it. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I uh, really baller out there um, at the end of my stream here. Um, <laughs> we're working it, though. We're growing. 401 subscribers. But let's check out when we started last year. This is just our first year, guys. So I'm going to go scroll, scroll down all the way down here. And uh, find out when exactly we started. Now I have the Good Morning Artist Show here, 11 months ago. So that's not 12 months ago. So that's closer. Right? That's almost 12 months ago. Then that would be our anniversary, right? So when did that come out? They came out October 29th. That was the announcement. And then what do we want? Where we are? The first show ever was November 2nd. So November 2nd is our anniversary. When did that fall on? Oh, on Tuesday. That'll be our anniversary week, really. That'll be amazing. Really cool. I love it. I love it. So yeah, uh, first show ever. I mean, you guys, will, you want to check this out? What was it like? Uh, let's, let's see what it was like one year ago, guys. I don't, I don't think I had, even had the intro. I'm having some music issues right there. Okay, um, let's let's see how it came in. Let's see how it came in. The, my first show ever. Okay, we're pretty close. We gotta wait it out. Let's see how it came in on my first show. Stay tuned. Look at this blast. This this thumbnail. I, I love it. It looks pretty nice, honestly. Let's see, one year ago, we're flashing back to Dusty and his first stream ever. I, I, I gotta imagine I'm a little bit better now. I'm still saying um a lot. I'm trying to get rid of it, guys, and eventually we will. Training myself. Um, 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 I do a lot of that, so I'm trying to weed it out. Let's see how it goes over here. Oh, geez. When am I coming in? All right, it's gotta be soon. Yo, what up? Hello, everybody. Hey. Yo. How's it going? It's good to be here. Yeah. Good morning. 
Good morning. Good morning. Monday morning, November. Uh, we're gonna do some painting today. I'm so excited. I just wanna, I just wanna put the oil on the ballot. I just wanna get get going right away. You know. But we're gonna do. We're gonna. Hey, it's it's morning time. All right, artists, get up. Get your palette ready. Uh, get get your favorite paint colors out. Get the red. Get the blue. I love get it. The yellow. Get them. Get them. Make the green. Yeah. Get them. Okay. Let's start painting. All right. Let's, some, Let's start. Best work. It's morning time. It's um, morning time. I'm getting some coffee in. I'm getting some Mountain Dew in. I'm yeah. Getting my Excedrin in. Yeah, get it in. We're gonna do some painting today. Get um, it in. But hey, let's take some time. Man. Get it in, guys. Take some time. Let's take out. Let's, do this. let's go check over. Do you think I had a mug yet? If you want to support me, check out my Patreon over here. Yeah, guys, go to the Patreon. Check out my Instagram. What are you doing? And then check out my signature. Ooh. This should and be good, honestly. To do list here. Look, I made this up. That's pretty fancy, huh? Don't you? <laughs> I'm very uh, proud of you. my show. Uh, thank you for everybody who's uh, supporting me. What was I painting? Oh man, I rolled that up. I ditched this thing. You know, I pretty so all my artists. Um, I hope you just keep working today too. Maybe get some lunch. I'm gonna do that. All right. Well, hey, that was a year ago, guys. Uh, November second will be our anniversary. One year. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> This week, uh, what a good time that will be! Just, just, just cool, cool to see that we've made it even this far. I mean, I didn't even know if I would do. I didn't know what. I didn't know what I would do really. I didn't know if I was just gonna keep doing this or not. So it's quite incredible that we we really made it this far. Uh, now, guys, if you go over to the Patreon, give me that dollar. I've been here for a year, so I, you know, don't call it a comeback. I've been here for a year. Uh, go ahead, go to the Patreon, give me, give me the dollar, because then you can get every single page of Leo the Torpedo, and I gotta say, we just finished, uh, page 10 today, and we sent it right over to our Patreon, uh, subscribers, and it only takes a dollar, and you get the whole story of Leo the Torpedo, baby QP, each page sent right over to you, and, uh, this is my first comic that I'm working on, and, uh, it should be done by the end of the year. Appreciate all the love. So guys go over to the patreon get involved in that Right there patreon.com slash good morning artist. I love it. Thank you guys so much and don't forget about next week We have this huge show here Like how many tattoos do you have and did it hurt? Uh, with special guests Sam Hain and Nick print Live Wednesday, October 13th, 7 to 9. Same time slot, guys, as this one. So it should be a really freaking good time. I'm ready to, to have a really good time. Wait till you see what kind of sketches I got coming up for that show. <laughs> we'll see if those ladies can handle me, uh, the painting god, pretty much. Let's see how much personality they can handle in two hours. And then, uh, but you know, they got a lot of personality too, so I don't know if. How hard I'll have to work on any of that. They might be pretty entertaining. Remember Will? Will is completely entertaining. It might be like a little bit like that. <laughs> now I've known those girls for a long time. Those are friends of mine for for years and years and years. I know Nick Pritt from the pizza shop and uh and then Sam I've known from punk rock shows and all and just hanging around on the music scene and stuff like that. And uh, of course Ricky Rodden and Aaron <laughs> know Sam very well too. And it's just it's just going to be such a good time. I can't wait. That's next week. Don't forget about it, guys. Uh, I'm going to be bugging everybody all week about it, saying, hey, you got to get on the show. You got it on the stream. Uh, we, we did a lot of painting today. We got pretty close to our goals. Uh, got a little bit more, more work to do here. But we're happy with things. We're happy with how it's going. I just really appreciate you guys being here with me, of course. And when are we going to be on again? I'm going to be out again Monday. It's Monday. I'll take the weekend off. I might post some uh, videos, so you guys look for that. And uh, I'll be on sometime around Monday uh, for the Monday morning BBQB live stream. Uh, don't miss that at all. 
And um, I don't know, guys. I appreciate you being here. You guys are the best. I love you all. Leo, I'm gonna come get, come get you soon here. And I uh, appreciate it, guys. Everybody have a good night. It's been really awesome. Tell me something funny about... Hold on, I'm gonna get rid of the moral waste first. Just get her right out of here. Boom. The head and the skull. I mean, he's got a bald head. Bald heads are usually pretty funny, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. I was just checking you, dude. I have a bald head. I set you up for that and you failed. All right? <laughs> you don't ever make fun of bald headed man. I love that guy in the painting. He's cool as hell. Oh, what did he do? Let me guess. He did not put the dishes away the correct way. <laughs> he got, uh, he got, she's pissed. That's the maid right there. She's like, I, and she, I told you if he fucks up the dishes one more time, then off with the head. Uh, it's hard to tell. It looks like somebody's playing, it's like some dude's pissed about somebody playing a trombone from here, dude. That, all right, <laughs> this that guy's dude, in trouble. Yeah, no, that dude's trombone? like, there's, looks like there's a trombone guy on, up above my, I don't know what that is, but it's a guy playing a trombone and that dude's like, shut the fuck up, man. All right? We're all here, we're trying to party. There's a, obviously this dude's wasted over here on the fucking ground right now. He's had a rough night. <laughs> can you please stop playing the trombone for a little while so we can get this dude sobered up? <laughs> well, a lot of people don't know that that's like the original painting, uh, self-portrait of Andre the Giant. But people don't know, that was his self-portrait. People, that painting right there is, uh, it's like 40 feet by 40 feet. And uh, it was used with his, he used his pubic hair to make that. So it's a pretty interesting piece. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, see, Picasso... Is funny about this yeah, you know what's funny is that people take Picasso serious. That's what's, that's what's funny about that. <laughs> people want to... Oh, it's about... No, you, he made. He said that. He made it up. You bought it. Look at The negative space, I, I dig it. Okay? <laughs> I get it. He's got some great negative space, some, some goofy characters, but... Yeah. Let's not pretend like, you know... That... Pe war. That is a futuristic picture of Eric Burke. Uh, <laughs> this is Eric yeah, Burke. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, uh, yeah, Eric Burke ends up being also a villain in Harry Potter one day. <laughs> Alright, so you, <laughs> you don't see any penis on there? Okay. Do I? Is there? Oh wait, there, I don't know, her head, her head's a penis! Her head's a penis! Okay. Well, is there anything funny on this one? Yes, there's a penis, and there's another penis, and now I see another penis. Lots of penises in this one as well. Cool. Uh, Alright, very good. That's, pe that's penis at SeaWorld, that's what that one's called. <laughs> Funny is that an airplane's flying out of the dude's ass. That's fucking hilarious. There we go. I mean, in the middle of war, you see an airplane coming out of somebody's ass. I don't care what you're doing. Pretty goddamn funny. A skull. That's how I'm gonna die, brother. That's you. That's, you, that's, huh? that's, that's, that's me right there, man. That's my next tattoo right there, Dusty. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore? This is Drew Barrymore? I don't know. That's just because I think of that movie Scream and I think of her. And then I, real <laughs> I realized that uh, I think that she, we probably would have got married. It makes me feel, it makes me feel like gross. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a grandma thing. It's like, okay, yeah, like, that make, that screams bad perfume and mothballs to me, dude. It's something, a little, it needs something to offset it in there, like a knife, or I don't know, you know what I mean? Well, what's funny is that uh, she looks like, maybe, it, maybe it's not funny, yeah. right? But it, I don't think she wants to be there, is what I'm saying. Dude. Yeah, you're right. Her right. head, that head, that head tilt screams, all right, you know what? I thought he was funny at the bar, and now I want to get the heck out of here. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, and also, I think that's also Andre the Giant up there, so... <laughs> you're, I'm going to give you, like, your batting average from picking the, the pictures, I'm going to give you, like, like, a 275. Okay. All right? Okay, okay, got Just, it. Some of them are a little 275? Wet. It's not bad in today's league, I tell you. Yeah, all right. The, you know, the, the, the neck, it's, it's amazing. It's yeah, beautiful. It's just really beautiful. I got a couple other close-ups that I want to just show you. Yeah. Oh uh, my god. The hand here is just really, really, Dude, really good. Look at the detail in the hand. You know the what hand I'm is I, just Oh, I can't really see it, but Yeah, yeah. Oh, the man, look at that. The there. veins in it are um, pretty yeah, realistic. Yeah, we're in all beautiful, beautiful work there. Well, I think Kurt really meant with this photo was that we are born into capitalism, so we're born into chasing Dude, money. Of so course. no matter what we do, we have to. Dude, so, should you have to the, explain even explain that? Yeah, if well, it's not so on the nose. You know, just the fact that he's and, suing, then, and he likes baby penises, you know?
just the same. Try again, I tried and failed.